Traditionally, apprenticeships have been associated with jobs like electricians or plumbers, but now there's a new way for people to use apprenticeships to pursue a career in healthcare. It's called the Certified Nurse Aid Apprenticeship. There are four basic principles of apprenticeship. The first is earning while learning. The person would go to work, earn a wage, and they would be partnered with a mentor. Earning while learning is uh, a proven principle. It, it allows the um, person to learn the skills and competencies that they need to have while they're working with the support of a peer mentor. That's the second principle of apprenticeship, peer mentoring. The apprentice while working is paired with a peer mentor and the peer mentor helps them learn the skills and competencies that are needed on the job and gives them assurance and helps them move through the career ladder. I had a nurse say to me yesterday in a meeting, I'm so glad to hear this because she said um, you can send someone to a class about dementia, um, they can answer the test properly, but if they don't have the experience and you put them um, in a room with someone who has dementia, two or three or four people, they're not going to know what to do. It's a, it's a unique experience and if they have um, a peer mentor with them and that person is able to support them and offer suggestions and show them how to do this kind of work, how to interact in a real life setting, it's very different than it is in a classroom setting. Along with earning while learning and peer mentoring, the third principle of apprenticeship is wage progression. And this is where the employer believes in the principles of apprenticeship. Um, they know that this is a good return on investment. And as the apprentice is moving through the career path and, and meeting the requirements of the different uh, stepping stones, um, there is some sort of an uh, incentive, wage incentive given as a reward um, because there should be. They're, they're working hard and they're learning and it's, it is the right thing to do. The fourth principle of apprenticeship is obtaining a portable credential. The Certified Nurse Aid Apprenticeship is being offered through the Northwest Michigan Council of Government's Healthcare Regional Skills Alliance. Each apprenticeship program is managed by an apprenticeship training committee made up of employers, representatives from the healthcare community, and Michigan Works. Healthcare employers who get involved with the program hire new employees or select existing employees, even those who may already have their CNA certification, for a CNA apprenticeship. The core part of this apprenticeship program gives the apprentice several training opportunities. The apprentice spends 600 to 700 hours on the job learning while working with a mentor. The apprentice completes 150 hours of related or classroom instruction. The apprentice attends the minimum 75-hour state-certified CNA class and passes the CNA certification test. The Certified Nurse Aid Apprenticeship Program in Northwest Michigan is uniquely designed. Um, it is particularly designed for a large rural geographical area. Um, I think that we have a unique structure, uh, different from any other apprenticeship program, uh, and it and it works like this. The Northwest Michigan Council of Governments is the applicant and therefore the sponsor of the apprenticeship program. The apprenticeship training committee, which is made up of uh, your various healthcare employers, Michigan Works, um, representatives of the community, is the manager of the apprenticeship program. Uh, decisions about competencies and that type of thing are made by this group. Um, the employers, the individual employers who are interested in the apprenticeship have a memorandum of agreement with the Northwest, with the Northwest Michigan Council of Governments. And the employer also has uh, separate agreements with each of their apprentices. So the apprentices have their agreement with their employer, they have a, a, a checklist of their responsibilities. That employer in turn has an agreement with the Northwest Michigan Council of Governments and knows what their role and responsibilities are. And the Council of Governments has a responsibility to the U.S. Department of Labor, um, the, the Office of Apprenticeship as the sponsor of the apprenticeship program and uh, the Council of Governments reports all of the details, the um, 
numbers, apprentices, training, and all that type of thing. So it's, it's uh, unique in that generally or traditionally apprenticeship is usually within one employer. But in this case, because we work so well and so collaboratively together, um, this is how we've created the apprenticeship in order to make it happen. Um, otherwise, we, our employers generally are, I don't want to say too small, but they have fewer in numbers compared to um, you know, a large organization like CVS Pharmacy has an apprenticeship for pharmacy tax. Well, they're huge. So this is our way of being able to pr provide an apprenticeship opportunity in Northwest Michigan. In addition to the core training, a CNA apprentice also chooses one of four advanced specialties, mentoring, dementia, hospice care, or advanced home care. Each advanced specialty has an additional 32 hours of related instruction in the classroom and an additional 150 to 200 hours of work on the job with a mentor. After completing their core and advanced specialty training, the apprentice completes a competency-based assessment. Qualified individuals may be able to take that assessment prior to going through classroom training. An apprentice who completes all the requirements to the satisfaction of the Apprenticeship Training Committee will receive a U.S. Department of Labor CNA Apprenticeship Certificate. That's what makes an apprentice special. They have the core CNA certi certificate, but they're also able to go on um, and choose a specialty. Many will choose peer mentoring and an additional specialty as well. And in fact, as we add more and more specialties, they can have three and four um, and become a very well-rounded professional universal worker. This person would have many opportunities uh, at their disposal and there isn't there isn't a ceiling uh, for an apprentice. They can continue to learn uh, and while earning. If an employer enters and becomes part of the apprenticeship program they're literally growing their own and there just isn't a better way of, of training someone and having a good in return on investment than, than to hire someone and have them learn the work while they're working for the organization. As the baby boomer population increases, the amount of available workers is decreasing. So the idea of retaining well-trained quality direct care workers is more and more important and also the idea of making sure that these workers are um, do have the skills and competencies and are recognized as um, being highly skilled professional people and part of the team is really important and apprenticeship really just makes that happen.